Hi everybody, welcome along to day two of our January daily. Uh, it's obviously the 2nd of January today, and so it's day two. <laughs> I just, because um, Mr F was having a bit of a to-do with YouTube over there, I was just reading some of your com comments. And yes, Flo, stay in bed. Why would you not? And um, Miranda, let me skip these out. Why are you so happy? So very happy. I'm really curious now. Um, I don't think she's telling us. Yes, Bernice, we've got some snow as well here. Morning, Leslie. Uh, I love George Michael and after 36 years, Wham! Last Christmas is number one in the UK charts. All money to charity. Well, that's excellent. I, I too, uh, am very fond of a bit of George Michael. Right, come on, let's get going. This is day two. Uh, day one. This was day one with our shabby chic. The only thing I've done to this entire thing since he left is put a bit of um, medical tape down there because I, I really didn't think it was going to hang on until the end. So I've just I've just put that there. The end will tidy and titivate all this up, but I just thought it was going to come adrift. So it's just that um, micropore tape that I got from Boots the Chemist. Right, so now we've got a lovely big pocket on here on our shabby page. So when we come to doing something in the take five that will go in there, like a journaling card or a tag or something, we've got the perfect place to put it. Um, so that moves us on to this one, which is stay tuned. And that the pearls and the lace, etc., are a bit lumpy on this side, so I'm just going to have to take care. So let's have a look at the uh, prompts and let's see what uh, I've chosen. <laughs> They're all so nice. I'm dying to have a go at all of them. I really am. Um, I don't know if you've printed them out for yourself, but there's, there's loads of really, really interesting ones. Lots and lots. But today I have decided to go with this one. Mushroom and toadstools. <laughs> so let me mark that off so we know we've done it. And put a ring around it and put the second there. So that's today's challenge, if you like. Right, so I haven't quite formed a plan in my, my head, which would be no surprise to any of you. But I have pulled out some things that I think we might need. So I've pulled out some bits of green paper. Um, that's not going to be big enough for the whole book, you know, the whole page, but um, there's this one. That would be big enough. There's this one, which is a page from Victoria Designs. Isn't that just beautiful? I love blue tits, but I was thinking that might make a pocket. Just notes on there might be nice. Um, I pulled out some ticking, some green ticking. So you can't go wrong with a bit of ticking. And just uh, that's similar to the first one, I think, just a bit darker. I, I'm afraid I can't tell you which kit these came out of. I just can't remember. I think that might be a bit dark for our purposes. So I'm going to take the plunge and I'm going to use this for the entire background. Um, and I'm just going to mat it slightly, not not much in from the edge. I wonder where the edge really is. Um, yeah, I'll press that down flat. Can you remember how many pages were in that book before we started? Um, I might say I might still have the last one. 172. Thank you. 172 it looks like. don't think I've taken any out of there. So yeah, and the, I think there's a fly sheet on the back. Yeah, 172. Okay. So it's quite... Um, where are where are the pages? Have you seen, oh, they're here. Yeah, these are all the pages that I took out. So you see there's, there's loads. And I took them out. You know, say that was sewn in down the thing. I just 
tore it one side of the stitching and then tore it the other and sometimes you get a bit of fluff a bit of paper fluff uh, left around the stitches so I just poke them out so yeah uh, yeah that's 168 so yeah I'm thinking that 172 was what I had and I couldn't really work out the maths to be honest with you so um sorry my cannot it's a huge disappointment so I just kept pulling pages out until I had something like the right amount so there we go right so let's mark this up and get it cut and get it stuck on that would be a good thing to do so I'm just going to mark just inside it there's not going to be much of a border left around there I don't think cut that off so I'm so so impressed by all all of your um, versions of the of the first of January. Honestly, you're so speedy, and you know, thank you so much for putting them up on the group. For those of you that haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, we've got a Facebook group, um, sort of sister group to this channel called Miss Paint-A-Lot's Junk Journal Group over on Facebook. And you are more than welcome to pop over and join us uh, and see what all the other people have done with their uh, page one and loads of other things, things that uh, people have been busy with over Christmas. And we also do a take five. Every Tuesday we do a take five where I select five random things that, could, you know, it could be ribbon, it could be lace, it could be using paint, it, it could be anything, any five things. And um, we make something, usually a journaling card, sometimes an envelope, that sort of thing. And people post the results of their take five on the group as well. And, and other things, people do amazing things. Mabel just posted a beautiful um, safari journal that she'd been making. Um, lots of interest on that group. So if you want to join, please feel free. We'd be glad to have you. Um, and I really do appreciate all the... Um, all of the things that you've been posting um, since yesterday, since I finished yesterday. Honestly, some of you, Jania, <laughs> were so quick. I couldn't believe it. Mr. F said to me, you know, have you seen Jania's? No. Goodness. Right, so that's going to go on to speedy. there. Yeah, super speedy. So, to ink around the edge or not to ink? That is the question. Like a roll call, will you think about Yes, that? let's have a roll call. Uh, Janya. Hi, Janya. Jean. Hello, Jean. Hilda. Hello, lovely Hilda. Terry. Hi, Terry. First again. Well done. Susan. Hello, Sue. Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Bernice. Bernice. Yep. Hi, Bernice. Julie. Hello, Julie. Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Rose. Hi, Rose. Carol. Hello, Carol. Miranda. Hi, Miranda. Flo. Who? Flo. Oh, Flo. Stay in bed, Flo. Tony. Hi, Tony. I'm, I'm hoping I've got the hang of the... Tony sent me this sugar bell bottle, which is like gold dust in this country. So I'm very grateful to her. And yesterday I was a bit of a klutz with it, really. So I'm hoping I'm going to be a bit better with that today. Thank you, Tony. Violet. Hello, Violet. I hope your sciatica gets better soon. It's very poor company. Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Jan. Hi, Jan. Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Helen. Hello, Helen. And that may be it. If I missed you, shout out. Sean, hiya. Oh, Donna. Donna, hiya. Carol Dodsley, hiya. The how-to girl. Um, so, yeah. I think people wait to start doing roll call to jump on. Yeah, I think they do. I think they do. We're going to get them today. That's just mean. Yeah, some people are. I, I am going to ink around this. I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference, but it's going to make me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that white edge that you get, you know, with cut paper, rather more than... Keller from Mexico. Hello, Keller. Wow, Mexico. 
bet it's warmer than here. I bet you're not suffering with the snow that we've got. You might like it, actually. You know, for a sort of once-in-a-lifetime type experience. I cannot tell a lie. I like snow. I mean, I like any extremes of weather. We don't get monsoons and typhoons and all that sort of stuff here. Very temperate in, in the British Isles. But I do like it when it's, you know, roasting hot or when it's icy, really icy, or when it's snowy. Um, wind, no, you can keep that. I'm not keen on that. Um, but any of the sort of extremes, I quite like them. That's the one there, the one out of my calendar stamps. I really don't want to lose it. Right, so let's get this glued on then. Um, let's see if I have... I haven't done any journaling since yesterday, so I'm just kind of hoping that um, somehow I've managed um, to fathom out how to use this. So minimal pressure. Let gravity do the work. Yeah, it's looking better than yesterday, I think, so far. Julie, I'm hoping you've put a video up for me to watch later on. I haven't seen one, but I'm hoping so. Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs. I'm loving watching her videos. Yeah, I think I might have actually kind of virtually got the hang of it. It's better than yesterday when the glue was dripping everywhere, wasn't it? Well, it was just embarrassing. Right, I don't think this has got a top and a bottom. I don't think it has, so I'm just going to pop it on. See what it looks like. Yeah, I, th I think that's fine. It's, um, I'll put that underneath and then you'll see where I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's good. That's good. So we've got a green background. <laughs> Excellent. I'll just leave that to, uh, to dry for a minute. Whilst I show you the things that I've pulled out of my drawers and cupboards and everywhere else. So given that we have mushrooms... Uh, toadstools for a <coughs> excuse me a theme I have fussy cut these out of this little book that I have that's called mushrooms and toadstools appropriate. how appropriate um, it came from a charity shop and it's just full of these images of mushrooms and toadstools so I just chose four I think maybe six something like that and just fussy cut some out the thing is the back and front so you have to decide which page you want and which page you're prepared to go without um, but I mean they're really not expensive these I don't know do you have do you have places like this that sell books like this in America I really don't know I mean we I reckon I could go into one out of two charity shops in this country and find a book on mushrooms and toadstools. I've no idea why. I've no idea who buys them in the first place, but they're, they're fairly prevalent, really. Um, so that's a fussy cut out of the book. That's a fussy cut. Um, what else have we got? That's a fussy cut. That's a fussy cut. I've got lots, haven't I? <laughs> that's a fussy cut is that all my fussy cuts I think possibly oh no that's a fussy cut and then just in case I didn't have enough <laughs> butterf random butterfly um, I, I went in my Tim Holtz pile of assorted stuff and looked at every toadstool that, he, that I had of his some of them are teeny tiny uh, some of them are quite large and I don't know if I'm going to have room for them in my um, page today, but I'll leave them out in a pile. So if I need something smaller, 
I can have a bit of a rummage. Um, I also, 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 I got out these little, can you see them? They're just tiny little white flowers, cream flowers. And I got them from Hobbycraft and they weren't expensive. I also looked out these, which are enamel dots. I have no idea where I intended to use these. I think it says on the back that they make nice centres for flowers that they also do. Um, but I don't know, I just thought maybe, you know, maybe that sort of colour. I don't know, we'll see. I also got out a load of stamps, which is always dodgy territory for me. Um, sort of trees. That big birdie, which is out the Edith Holden one. I mean, I thought you might look quite nice on top of a toadstool, but I think it's a bit, bit on the large side. So I've got this smaller one. I do have the idea of putting them on top of a toadstool. Um, more tree, some trees I thought might look nice in the background, but I don't, you know, I don't know. And then these, these are all trees as well. These have come from somewhere. I haven't bought them. Uh, I mean, I probably have bought them now, but I haven't stolen them. <laughs> but I didn't set out one day to buy tree stamps. I've also got these chipboard Tim Holtz uh, signs, which I've had for ages, ages and ages. Um, and I thought it might be quite nice if we've got space to, to put one of these on it. I also need a date on it. And what I sort of thought was I could put, these are like, um, I don't know where I've put the bag of these now, but they're, they're sort of wooden numbers. And I know in the States you would call this one two twenty twenty one but over here we have two one twenty come on twenty twenty one the one does not want to join the party oh come on yeah but that's quite big, isn't it? I could get rid of those and just have 2121. That's quite nice as well. So that's an option for us to consider further down the line. I also have typed out on the typewriter uh, 2nd of January 2021. And I've also typed out mushroom <laughs> toadstool toadstool, fungi, mushroom, whatever. So um, they might come into play as well. I don't know. I'm just giving myself options at this moment. I've also taken out these, this bag of uh, craft leaves, because, I don't know, toadstools and mushrooms and that sort of thing make me feel, of, feel like autumn, autumn sort of time of year. So I've got these out. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but they're an option. And I've also fussy cut um, these, and I think they are from uh, Victoria Designs, I think, because I thought that might look quite nice on the side of the page. Don't know if it does or not. I quite like it. And I cut out this yellow one as well. So we've, we've got options. We've got lots of options. Uh, oh, yes, I've also got this that I'm pretty sure Hilda sent me. Uh, which is sort of leafage, which you never know. You might want a bit of that. Uh, and I also have my box of butterflies, which is where he belongs. He's been flying free because um, we might need some. Right, I'm getting really quite warm now. <laughs> so it's time to take the cardigan off. Uh, I have also laid out these. I don't know why I laid them out. I, just, I love them anyway. Um, so they, I just thought they might marry in with them somehow. And my bag of green trims. So there's all that sort of stuff in there. So right, we're not short of stuff. We're definitely not short of stuff. It's just how we're going to put it together, really. Um, 
I want a pocket on here because the overall idea is that we can add the things that we make in a take five uh, into this book. That's why the book's existing, isn't it, really? So let's have a look at our options for a pocket. Uh, there's that which is just too similar. It doesn't stand out. There is uh, the ticking, which is nice. I like ticking. Don't know if it stands out enough. Um, there's this one, which I could cut down. Also, I'm pretty sure that's Victoria Designs. I think I bought the botanical kit, the botanist or whatever it was called. I noticed over New Year she had a a five uh, bundle, five pack bundle. <sighs> I was so close to buying it. So close. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't because I'd already bought the botanist kit a year ago or whatever. So uh, I didn't I didn't go ahead and buy it. So I'm quite proud of myself for that. So if I was to cut that off there and just make that a pocket, that would work, wouldn't it? I quite like the butterfly up there. I could have another butterfly, you know, up there somewhere, maybe. Yeah, okay, let, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I've got blinking toadstools everywhere. No mushroom. No mushroom at all. So it's going to be the full width of that. And how long do I need it, I wonder? Um, I'll bring it down to there, I think. So let's cut that off in the middle. I'm going to use this edge here to line my ruler up with. I have ordered a paper trimmer and I know what Johnny was saying yesterday but I've got fear of missing out <laughs> that I haven't got a paper trimmer and sometimes you know I'm cutting lots of paper at one time so I quite like the idea of a paper trimmer so I've ordered one so we'll see how I get on with that in the fullness of time I can't ever imagine that I'll desert my um, this and this because they're so accurate. Oh, I've just trimmed off. <laughs> oh, I've just trimmed off the mark that told me how how deep I wanted this to go. But never mind. I want to have enough room so we can see what we've put in it at the top. Um, so about. About there, I think. Mr. F, could you do me a favour? Indeed. Could you get me some anti-shake tablets and some pot, please? My hands seem to want to shake today. At least my nose isn't itchy yet. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm definitely not throwing that out. That's just got loads of uses. So let's put this in. Now I haven't gusseted this pocket, so whatever goes into it's going to have to be relatively thin. And I kind of need to work out where halfway is really. That's the thing to do next. So that measures uh, eight and a half. So halfway is four and a quarter, I reckon. Put a little mark there. I'm just going to put a little mark in the middle of this. That's five and a half, so is that two and three quarters? I think so. Thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. Wow, that was a close call. Nearly dropped my coke. <laughs> Nearly spilt it everywhere. Right, so if I line those two marks up, I should have that in the middle. Excellent. Glue. Just before I do that, let's just have a check and make sure I don't want to add anything to the top of here. 
because once I've glued it down, it's that's pretty much it, isn't it? Let's have a look and see what the alternatives are. I'm not saying I do. I'm just checking that I don't. I've got that really nice dull rickrack, dull green rickrack, which is nice, but no, it hasn't made the cut. It's this lovely satin ribbon. No. He says now Miss P's got a January list. Instead of January, you're having a Miss P list. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That, that's quite nice, but I like it better with nothing on, I think. Yeah, I'm still going to proceed in trying everything I've got. There's some um, cotton that I dyed myself. Quite like that. Leanne says hi. Hi, Leanne. Thanks for joining us. She's glad she's finally made a live. Yay! <laughs> well done, Leanne. That's a really deafened. <laughs> uh, there's that, but it covers over the notes bit. So no, I think I think the answer to that is we tried, but no. There's nothing there that's floating my boat. Look at this that I've got. Come out. It's these tiny micro sort of pom-pom braids. Aren't they, isn't it lovely? Not for on there. I'm just showing you. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Tell you where it might be nice, down the edge of the page. Mm -mm. Come out. <laughs> I got tangled up with everything. Right, let's just have a look and see what that might look like. That might look quite nice, you know. I quite like that. That is, uh, yeah, I've decided I do quite like it. So let's see if I can find an end. Oh, that was easy. Um, and I'm just going to cut off a length that I think is appropriate. I'm just going to cut it off to there. I'll add a little bit more on. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, so I got sidetracked somewhat. I'm just going to get my little six inch square ruler out. And put that on the edge of the page so I know where square is. It's there. So the pocket needs to go up to there. Right, let's get some glue on and stop wafting around. Jen says, mushrooms and pom-pom trim, it's the 70s. <laughs> yeah, who said that? Jen. So we all know what Jen was up to in the 70s, don't we? Has she, has she even stopped? That's the question. You'd have to ask Mike. Right, so let's put this on there, up to that. So the middle's in the middle. And that line is still square, so there we go. Get my wipe out, so I've got a bit of glue. Oh, all my good measuring. Now I just knocked it for six. To the best of my knowledge, I have never had a wacky mushroom ever so I don't quite know what happens to you or what it's like or why indeed people would even do it uh, when I find my rubber I'll rub out those two little pencil marks so we've now got a little pocket when that's dry that we can put something in if we ever have maybe even a die cut you know a, a take five that the challenge is a die cut we could perhaps use a, a mushroom die cut or something. I don't know. Whatever. Thinking ahead. So I do want to put this down here. Nancy says hi. Hi, Nancy. You overslept. Well, that's good. It'll do you good. I think I should have probably put this in before I put the backing paper in. You know, I don't think it's going to look very nice now.
But you know, I make these mistakes <laughs> or you don't have to. And if you believe that, you don't believe anything. So if that was there like that, just stay there. Just pretend you want to live there. Thank you. And that was there. Would that look all right? Yeah, I think it would, wouldn't it? It'd be okay. Right, so I'm going to stick this on. Is all the paper using 120 grams a square metre? Yeah. So far. Right, but that's, that's random. That's just, that happens to be what I printed it out on, Violet. It could have easily been 90 or 160. It just so happens that um, a year ago, whenever when I printed all of this out, I was using 120. But it is a perfect weight for it. Uh, I would say that. So if you are going to do something like this at home, I would say before you stick your bottom paper on, uh, if you're going to put something up the side like lace or whatever, do it before that, and then you can sandwich it between, and it will look prettier. I'm just trying to fathom which glue to use. Double-sided, maybe? Hmm? Double-sided tape, maybe? I think it, it's, too, it's too, too thick. Narrow. Yeah. I'm going to use this uh, E6000, because I don't want to use so much of it um, that it comes through. But I do need something with a fair bit of stick. I've had these pom-poms for quite a while now. I've never really found the ideal place to use them. But I'm, I'm so far, I'm so enjoying doing this because it's totally liberating. I hope you're finding it the same. It's just, you know, one day this page, one day another page. It does make you think. That's that's all right. Thinking's okay. Right, so let's start up here. So I want that just in from the edge there. So once again, I'm applying a little bit of tension, but not much. Just enough to kind of straighten it out. I know we, you know, we fuss on about glues and which glue and what glue and it's better for what. I do think that you should all have a little tube of uh, E6000 in your back pocket, not in your back pocket. <laughs> no, because it'll squidge and then you'll be sorry. Um, in your drawer. <laughs> no, not in your drawers either. Um, in your armoury. How about that? In your armoury. Yes, um, because it's jolly handy stuff. It sticks most things to most things. The downside of it is it doesn't tack up straight away. So sometimes like this, you have to go back and, and press it. But once it's stuck, it's stuck and it sticks gems. It sticks, um, you know, metal charms and stuff. So I think it's worth having. There now, doesn't that look nice? Yes. <laughs> you know, you know what I've just done there? Talked to myself and answered myself. I do that all the time. Even when the camera isn't on, I do say, now, isn't that nice? <laughs> Don't I? <laughs> to begin with, Mr. F used to get up and come and have a look and see what I was talking about, but he, he just ignores me completely now, <laughs> which is probably for the best. Right, so I want to put that on there. And I think that'll be fine. I think that'll look nice. It's coming together, actually, isn't it? It's quite exciting. Um, but don't forget that this is supposed to be about mushrooms. <laughs> so do I want one behind there sort of peeping out a bit? No, I don't think so. I'll have to come down to the bottom. One there. Oops, hello. And let's get another one, maybe that one. One there. No, don't like the look of that particularly. A bit of glue on my hand. Let's have a look. Maybe I don't want this at all. Maybe I can use it in a different 
on a different day. That one definitely needs to be taller if it's going in at all. And that there. I don't know. I quite like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. Um, so let's have a look at these leaves. See if they... I think they're all the same size, actually. Uh, let's get a, red and, a green and a yellow one out. Put the yellow one behind there. Get a toadstool. Ah, yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? It's covering up that butterfly a bit, but what can I do? Yeah, I quite like that. I, I do quite like that. Maybe spread them open a bit more. I don't know what we think, guys. Let's move that up a bit. Yeah, so I, I like this section. This section maybe can... I'm sad to lose that because I love it. But let's try this yellow flower here instead. And see. Tony says you are funny, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In all senses of the word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I quite like that, actually. What does it look like on screen? Does it look pretty? The flower is a bit overpowering. That was the original. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I quite like this yellow one, though. I, I like this this section here. So let's glue that down whilst I muse on that one. I'm going to ink around these because like I say, I fussy cut them out of that book and it's it's quite shiny actually. If I was, you know, being really pedantic, you could put um, clear gesso over these just to knock the shininess back a bit. Ingrid says I Hi Ingrid. She says that she couldn't create like that. Well, that's not true, Ingrid. It's just not true, Ingrid. Just go to wherever you store all your bits and bats. Pull out anything that you that that you're feeling on that day. Put them on the table, <clears throat> and just go for it. Just keep auditioning and auditioning various bits and pieces until you get something that you like it, it's not um it, it isn't a skill it's just a um, trial and error type thing just keep trying bits here and there and everywhere and eventually you'll think ooh i like that so honestly ingrid i'm not being um silly but you can create I think there's a lot of people watching us now who six months ago, eight months ago, thought they couldn't create. Um, Leslie, I hope you don't mind if I pick you out, but your journaling skills have come on so much this year. It's staggering to see. Um, and and I, I just really think that, you know, it's there. We've all got it. Jean says she auditioned yesterday all day long. <laughs> that is the downside of it. You do end up doing a lot of auditioning. And Janya says that was me yesterday auditioning crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that's it's kind of what we do, isn't it? You know. So these leaves, I would really like them if they were a bit smaller, but you know they aren't. So I'm going to have to live with them as they are. And I want two. I might have to put the yellow one over there, like that, and this green one down here. Julie says you've inspired her and she's relocated to the craft room. <laughs> yeah, she's probably going to go and tidy up her craft room. That's normally what she does when I'm on. <laughs> right, how does that look? 
I think that looks all right. And I think there's room along there for one of the Tim Holtz words. So let's take those off steadily. Let's put some glue on the back of this one and hope we can remember where it was when we come to put it back. Oh, had a funny turn then. I thought that was the one I was... Ooh. <laughs> Got a toadstool on the back of my toadstool. Ooh, must be time for a brew. A brew indeed. Oh, we've got a new love in our lives and it's called Brandy Snaps. Oh my goodness me. I don't know what, why Mr. F chose to buy Brandy Snaps uh, when he was doing the Christmas food shopping because they're not a thing that we normally have. But oh my goodness, are they nice. <laughs> there was eight in the pack. And uh, we had, obviously we had four each and we demolished the whole pack yesterday. Not in one sitting, but nearly. So I'm just using, for those of you that aren't familiar with what it is I'm using to press this down. This is a, it's a wet wipe, an ordinary common garden wet wipe. And all I did was, this is a pack of wet ones, but all I do is I cut the end off it, open the top and they dry out. And you're left with a lovely wad of dry wipes and they are fabulous and i must thank lynn whitman who sent me two packs of wet wipes um because they, they they're lint free so you can dab around they're absorbent they pick up the any surplus glue but they don't leave bits hanging around which is good so this one i think i wanted about there I'm just going to go for it. Have I inked it? How the heck? I thought I inked that. Oh yeah, I have. Have I? No. Seeing things. Let's put the lid back on my uh, collar one then. Nancy says you should use them leaves before and cut them down. Oh, have you Nancy? That's, yeah, it's a good idea that is. I might, it might come to that, to be honest. We'll see. We'll see where I get these stuck. What they look like. They are just a little bit too big, aren't they? Jenny says she's going to the Dollar Tree later to get a couple of packs of wipes. Oh, they're brilliant, Jenny. Yeah, just the cheap ones. Lynn sent me some really posh ones, which if I'm to totally honest with you, <laughs> I didn't use for crafting. I kept them for nicer pursuits. Um, and I just use the cheap ones from Aldi for crafting. So that's going to go there. That's going there. Yeah, I, th I think, Nancy, you're onto a winner with the cutting them down business. I think they'd look better cut down a little bit. Well, I might just chop that down, actually, and then I'll be all right. Let's glue this one on anyway. Let's make some progress. Because if you had a die cut of a leaf shape, you could die cut the leaf. Yeah. And you'd retain that vein in on your die cut. Yeah, I could die cut the actual leaf, you mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Blimey, it's all throwing out some lovely good ideas today. There we go. Put the lid on him. Let's get this stuck down. Right, there we go. So you don't need to be too afraid about glue coming, squidging out from underneath when you've got these wipes because you've got, you know, they, they're absorbent. So you'll get a good result each time. There we are. Thank you, my love. Hey, watch my mushrooms. <laughs> um, and these two. Well, I think you can see enough of them there. If I turn that one in a little bit more. Does that look all right? Does that look okay? Hmm. I might have a go chopping this down, Nancy. Give me the, the idea now. So I'm just going to kind of follow around the pattern. Um, 
Lynn says, can you tell her about the new blue bottle again? Just so she's got the details. Yes, Lynn, I can. It was gifted to me by Tony Vince here in the UK because they are like gold dust here and they cost a fortune to ship in from America. And Tony tells me it took six weeks, actually, for hers to get here. So I'm very grateful that uh, she bought two and she shared them, shared it with me. Thank you very much. They are called Sugar Bell and you are most likely, I would think, to find them in the cake decorating department because that's uh, what they're made for. Uh, you know, the royal icing that people put on cakes. The sort of lovely lattice work that they put on. I've chopped that down. I think it still looks like a leaf. Brilliant idea, Nancy. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It says sweet sugar bell. Sugar bell. Um, Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs, she's got some that she bought off Amazon that she said were much, much uh, less expensive. Uh, I haven't got the details, but if you're still with us, Julie, do you think you could share them? Would that be all right? Um, and let us know where you found them in the UK. I think I might trim this one down as well, Nancy. I've gone leaf happy. I was thinking about it, but I didn't know how successful it would be. So thanks for the final push on that one, Nancy. I'm not cutting off that much. It's probably, it's not a quarter of an inch, but it's possibly slightly more than an eighth. I'm just kind of following around the overall edge. I'm not that worried because I've got a whole new pack of them. So if it goes horribly wrong, I've still got some. You can also leaf it out. Oh, look at that. I could leaf it out if it goes really bad. Look at that. It's really pretty. But I'll never use it, so it's going in the bin. Right, so I've now got two smaller and much more manageable leaves. Look at that. Perfect. Let's get them glued down. I'm going to use my collar, I think. I want the yellow one down first. So for all it looks like it's got um, veins on it, it hasn't really got any veins. It's just coloured. And I don't want this glue to go through too much. Um, I hope you got that, Lynn, the details about the bottle. If you need to know any more, let me know and I'll show you again or Tony might um, have something to say I don't know so I'll pop that there Lynn Griffiths says hi hi Lynn thanks for joining us I don't want to squash this down too much I do want it to still have a bit of life about it but I do want it stuck to the page I think that's okay it still looks a bit sort of crinkly fied which is uh, what I was after. I used to have something quite similar to this as a child. Leaves with veins on. And I was saving them, saving them, saving them. And I don't ever remember using them actually. So not much has changed really in my life. <laughs> in 55 years or so since I had the leaves the last time. Sounds like a disease, doesn't it? I had the leaves. There we are. I, I like that. I like that corner there. Looks nice. I think I'm probably done with uh, those leaves. Yeah, I quite like that. It's nice. I'm going to put a, a thing on there. That's what I'm going to do. I could... Sorry? Nancy says she bought some leaves from Facebook Marketplace and when she picked them up, it was a big, massive box of them. <laughs> So Nancy's got leaves, Jean and Hilda have got gauze. No, Jean didn't have gauze, did she? No. What did she have? She had masses of it, whatever it was. Oh, I can't remember now, Jean. Let's see if we can find a nice little um, thing to go along here. Today is full of possibilities. Well, you can't deny that. Believe in yourself. Take the scenic route. Yeah, I like that. Does that fit along there? 
Might be a bit big. It's kind of dwarfing my things. No, that's not going to work, is it? I don't want to dwarf them. I think I'm just going to use... Where's that tape right of paper? Go on. Put the washing machine on when there's a light. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you can hear the noise in the background, it's the washing machine. I've lost the typed paper. Uh, With the mushrooms and stuff on. Is it still a big A4? Mm. Oh, here it is. It's under all my lace stuff. Right, I'll get the decalage scissors out again. And I think I'll just put toad stool, I think, along there. It's not bad cutting, really. Elder says ribbon. Oh, it was ribbon that Jean had, was it? No, it goes. Oh. Hilda's the goes queen. No. Right, I'm going to ink around that and I'm going to stick it on because I quite like that. Uh, put the lid back on my bottle. Can you just show that for Lynn when you get a second? Yeah. It's what you get for being late, Lynn. <laughs> she wasn't that late. In fact, I'd say she was pretty much on time. I'm going to stick that there, but um, for anybody that didn't catch the book earlier, there Lynn it is. Griffiths, it is oh, Lynn Griffiths. Yeah. Ah, yeah, serves you right for being late. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. It's called Mushrooms and Toadstools. Blandford seem to be, I would say, the publishers. Yeah. And um, this is it inside. It's these pictures of fungi. But they are back and front, so you have to sort of decide which you, you know, you want. Um, I mean, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, so there's quite a few pages of those. A good few, I mean loads. And then at the back, I think there's more detail about what they are and where you find them, whether they're poisonous or whether they're gen sort of mushrooms, I don't know. <laughs> that sort of thing. Jenny says she found a copy online for ten dollars. Ah, doesn't sound too bad. Doesn't sound too bad at all. Right, so I'm just going to stick this on there over my leaves. Up there, I think. Terry says she saw an Etsy kit of toadstools and mushrooms on Etsy, but she can't remember where she saw it. All right. She almost got it and then forgot where it was now. That's the problem with Etsy. I know. Right, so I, I kind of think that's done. I might actually add a butterfly up there um, when we're done. Maybe a smaller one than that. Yeah, I mean, that's just large, isn't it? That's a large one. Now I've got to look through my butterflies. I feel compelled. Um, I need a small-ish one. Oh, that's quite small, isn't it? That's quite nice, actually, up there. Yeah, I like him there. He's nice, he's doing all right. I've still got some that I need to fussy cut out. Um, but the day that I fussy cut all the rest of the butterflies, my hand was literally dropping off. Well, not literally, I shouldn't say that. There's a little cabbage white one. Just auditioning, just auditioning. See what we've got. Some of these that I would never think of putting on, like that one. I can't ever see me using that one, actually. But you never know. You might just come across a project that just needs that one. No, that's horrible. Uh, I think a lot of these are Tim Holtz. No. 
I mean, you know, we can go ridiculous. <laughs> no, that was just me being ridiculous. I'm truly not going to stick that on there. Um, there's a lot of... That's quite nice. Stands out quite nicely. There's a lot of ones from other kits and stuff as well. I'll leave those out. I have auditioned and I think they are the three that are the most likely candidates. Anyway, back to the land of toadstools. So I've got these ones. I like those actually. I quite like them just there, to be honest. Um, and I've got this. Quite what I'm going to do with it, I don't know. I mean, does it have a place? Does it have a land where it belongs? Is the blue one worth bringing back just for the purple one? Yeah, I might just do that. That's half of it there. That's all of it, which is just a bit... <laughs> it's a bit too much. The left-hand side half might be better because it kills in rather than kills out. Yeah. That. Yeah, no, I'm... Um, if I use it, I am going to have to cut it in half. I mean, that one fits the square page perfectly because it's square up there. I quite like it because it sits on top of that. So if I were to cut that one out, you're saying to do that one? No, no, I'm saying to do it. To one, do this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. I'll, I'll do my best to fussy cut this out with some sort of speed. Me to do that, no, you? it's all right because I'm, I haven't really got anything else to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling them of our latest love, which is brandy snaps. So when the shops open again and we're allowed to go to them, Mr. F's on a hunt for brandy snaps. They probably only have them at Christmas, which would be really sad. The Fox's one, yeah, Fox's brandy snaps. I hope that they aren't just a Christmas thing. But you never can tell. I'm not the world's fastest fussy cutter, sorry. But I'll just cut that leaf off there. That'll save my labours. Right, okay. This looks now looks a bit silly because it's not really going anywhere. Put that off. Right, okay, so how are we doing? So that up there. <laughs> no, I don't like that one. Try this one. Terry says there were my porch prints on a called Woodland Flora. The, ah, uh, uh, yes, I have seen those actually, Terry. Yes, woodland flora. Yes, you're quite right. I think it's a relatively new kit, actually. Well, I think they'll go there. I think they'll be all right there. What does it look like? Looks all right. I like it. I like it. More is there to say. I like it. So I'm just going to put a little mark down here so as I can have a guide when I come to stick this down. The, I'm telling you, this bottle needs the lightest pressure you could ever imagine. In fact, you know, hardly anything. It's just gravity doing its thing. And you just get the, you know, finest little. So that mark there is for that one there. So pop that down. Well, it's got to go. Has she got up yet? <laughs> or has she got to go because she's got to get up? Well, time for a playground trip, she says. Oh. She's going for a swing and a slide, I think. What swing can I say? Carousel. So that one was going to go about there, I think. 
I forgot to ink the other one. Oh, no, I didn't. Am I going mad? Yeah. Mary says, Are you using a, knit, a sewing needle, a knitting needle guard for the top of the? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what it is, Terry. Um, Tony sent it to me with another one, which I think is a baby's bottle top. Um, it does look like it might be a knitting needle guard, actually. I think that's what she wrote. Now you come to mention it. Uh, what Tony wrote. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't mention there was two things that were. Yeah, that's the one I'm using. Um, and the other one is under here somewhere. A bit larger. Yeah, it's a bit larger, which I probably should be using because it would be easier to find. No, it doesn't matter. There we are. I'm going to put, put this one down here. Lovely. It's lovely. Totally lovely. I can't wait to see what you do um, with this mushrooms because that's the that's the prompt mushrooms and toadstools you can do whatever you like you could do a giant uh, toadstool with a fairy door in it what anything at all you don't have to copy my um efforts at all jenny says she uses a uh, an eraser must be one of them pencil top erasers, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which are conical, pretty similar to these, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I can get that in there. It's kind of like a fussy cutter, so now it's definitely going on here. <laughs> I quite like that there, actually. Is that nicer than the yellow one? No, I like the yellow one better. Right, so let's stick the purple one on first. Whee, hello. I hadn't realised until I was watching Julie do a video and she said, oh, I'm going to do, you know, whatever she'd done and I'm going to glue it as well. Belt and braces, she said, just like Fiona says. I hadn't realised that I said that very often, but I asked Mr F and he said, yeah, I do. So sorry if it's tedious for you, but... I do doubly do things, I know I do, because I can't bear the, the thought that somebody's going to receive something I've made and it's going to fall apart. Right, so let's get that onto there. Yeah, so um, if you haven't got any images of toadstools, you don't feel so inclined to buy a kit off Etsy, and I can understand that. Uh, then go, there, there are lots of free picture sites uh, online, and uh, one of them is called Pixabay, one of them is called Unsplash, uh, one is called Pexels. Uh, just just go put in mushroom, toadstool or whatever, and you will have more images than you know what to do with. So, you know, don't say that you haven't got any images because there, there are loads out there, loads that you can use and have fun with, I'm sure. So that's that bit on. Oh, that's all right. It looked like it was coming off, but it's not. Um, and I'm just going to put this on here. Because I fussy cut it, <laughs> and I'm going to use it. So I'm going to chop that off about there. Uh, ink it, glue it. Where's it going? Where are you at it? It's going there. Not like it. It's a bit over the top of everything else. Well, I'll move it that way. It's just I've got this here. Yeah, no, I was just wondering maybe the other side, maybe. 
the other side of the book page mm. in the middle <laughs> maybe I quite like that one. You put me off it now. No, I quite like it. It's going on. You always say don't listen to other people, so I'm not listening to you. Sorry, did you say something? <laughs> I think it'll be all right, Mr. F. Honestly, I do. I do too. I do value your input, you know that. But then I just <laughs> pay no attention. Yeah. But <laughs> then if you agreed with me, we'd both be wrong. <laughs> I hope you're not implying that I'm ever wrong. I mean, surely you know better than that. <laughs> so, there we go. It's going on for good or ill. It's going there. Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably a bit much, but I like it. I like it. Just need a little bit of glue under there. It's decided to lift on me a little bit. There we are. Right. So that's kind of all of the. Um, ooh, that that's kind of that done-ish. But I, I have got. Other toys that I got out of the play box, if you remember, I had these. Nice. That is nice, actually, those three just there, isn't it? And I had these, which I've never opened before, so let's have a look and see what they look like. I just wondered what they'd look like. These two seem to want to be stuck together. Um, you know, just on the sort of floor of the place. I don't know, maybe down there. No, I don't want them that close to the thing, or they won't, it won't close. No, I don't like that. They're not doing anything for me much. No, let it not be said that I'm not using flowers, but I'm not using flowers. But I'm coming back to this because I do actually quite like that. I think it just picks up on the purple there, there and there and there. And I quite like that. I could get away with four along there. I'm going to cut it off at four and I'm going to see if I like it. Just along there. I can't decide. Do you like it, Mr. <laughs> um, now you want me opinion. Mm -hmm. mm, can't decide. I know, it's a tricky one, isn't it? I'm going to cut out mushroom out of here. I can't decide either whether I like it or I don't. I'm just leaving it while I think about it. It's quite nice and as much as it's lilac and it brings it all together. Yeah. But I don't necessarily think it's adding as much as it should. Yeah. Yeah, I can put that there. over a little bit like it's a sort of more botanic book yeah forget it it's not going on i've thought about it it's not happening maybe along that bottom you know, that's where you could put the date maybe yeah maybe possibly that would fill in nicely. yeah just to get rid of that straight line 
I think that's okay now. So I'm just going to ink around it. Oh, it might be a bit on the wonk, but it'll be okay, I think. There we go. So if the date's going to go there, I don't want this sort of lining up with it anywhere. So there, I think, because I don't want it level with that either. So, yeah, I think there. I've got other little baby toadstools and mushrooms I could use to go along that bottom, but seeing as the prompt was mushroom, let's put that along there. People do seem to like it though. Do they? Mmm. <laughs> right. Read the comments, I suppose, but yeah. I love tiny flowers, says Jean. Love the purple trim, Sharon. Yes, it covers the bottom of the pocket nicely and colour matches. Love the lilac. <gasps> I like the three purple flowers. It's like the one, three rule in photography. Yeah. Yeah. One, one, one. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Maybe you need three of those instead of four. But yeah, well, possibly. Maybe I don't know where I, right. I don't know where I threw them to and discussed them. Right, let's just take three of these because um, Nancy's absolutely on a roll today. And put them there. So they're not actually touching either side. They're just on the bottom. Did they look better there, just on the bottom? Or did the four look better? <sighs> so many decisions. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. I think four look better actually uh, than that and we're still abiding by the rule of three because we've got purple purple and purple now uh, the number of flowers we've got i think is uh not the point that nancy's very kindly making yeah i, I, I think i like that better straight along the bottom what what a what a decision to have to make Right, I'm going to stick those on. I've decided they're going on. I'm going to put glue on. That might be on the right side. I'm going to put glue on the back of them. And they do need a fair bit of glue, these. They really don't like sticking. Bit of a twist in them as well, which isn't helping. There we are, right. I think they're fairly straight now. I'm just going to leave them for a little while um, till that um, E6000 sets up a bit. No, I like that, I do like it. It's nicely, um, it's nicely balanced now. Who would have thought that you could make such a page chart of mushrooms and toadstools? Well, I never. Right, so now I want the date, which I, I am going to use this, and it's hopefully going to provide another three, because I'm going to put it up here somewhere. So we'll have this, this, and the date, which will be similar. 2nd of January already. Where's this year gone? <laughs> going to roughly cut it out first. And I've still got my butterflies but I'm not I'm not worried about them at the moment. I'm not worried about them at all. I'm sure they'll be fine. Oops. Right. So I think it probably wants to go about there, just to form that nice triad there. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's ink it and glue it. You know, by the time we come to day 31, we're going to be on our knees, aren't we, really? All this auditioning. Can prove too much. 
you can't just skip a day. You know, the days go on regardless. You've got to keep going. I'm thinking this and we're only on the second. Is Mike with us today? I only ask because he's a fun guy. Uh, I think he is. Well, certainly Jen was, I think. Yeah, Jen was, Magic Mushroom Lady. And uh, Lorna's on. Hi, Lorna. Happy New Year, my dear. Hope it's a really productive one for you and you bring out loads of kits that I can use and have derived enormous pleasure from. Ellie Dawn says hi. Hi Ellie. How you doing? Happy New Year to you. I hope everybody's had a great New Year so far. We've had a cracking New Year. We haven't done anything. <laughs> have we? No. <laughs> Not a thing. If, if you feel like you can share this with people, you know, share the link, the YouTube link, please do so because it really does help us. Um, and if you can do the thumbs up thing, that's also useful for us. And Jen says he's in the background. In the background. Right, what do those three look like? Too much? Yeah, they're kind of detracting from my lovely mushrooms, actually. So I'll have one. I might just have one. What's that one look like? No, I don't think so. No, I like that one. I like the it's little more one. more in the, the right, right palette. Yeah. I, I think that's fine, like that. I don't think it'll hinder us getting into there. Yeah, I'm going to... Ink around it and glue it down. Lorna says she's still under the covers. <laughs> well, I wouldn't bother getting up if it's anything like here. It's really snowy and really cold. It's a winter's day today. So I'm just going to pop that on there. I like that. And then I'm going to have a final look around to make sure that I haven't missed anything off that I really wanted to include. Come away from the date, just a touch. Thank you. Right, so let's have a look then what we've got. We've got a pocket that we can put something in when we do it, perhaps as a take five. We've got this lovely pom-pom trim. I love it. I don't know what it looks like on the shabby chic side. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Live with that. Um, but it's quite a nice botanical page, really. Uh, this is now stuck. I quite like that because it picks up the lavender lilac colours of the places. So, yeah, I mean, what do you reckon? Brilliant idea about cutting the leaves down, Nancy. Thanks for that. So there we are, 2nd of January, 2021. So you know what that means, we're done. And I shall see you tomorrow on the 3rd of January when we'll pick another prompt out from our list. Could be anything, could be anything at all. Um, I, I actually really quite like that. I think it's really quite nice. But as I say, don't get yourself in a fadangle because you haven't got any images of toadstools or mushrooms. Just go onto one of the free uh, sites and you'll have more images than you know what to do with. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Really appreciate your company. Um, might dwindle off a bit as we get towards the 16th, 17th. Oi! Uh, on the 31st of January, but let's let's try and keep the impetus going. If you have uh, done a, one of the pages, please consider posting it in the Miss Paint-A-Lot's Junk Journal group. If you're not a member, please join. Uh, it's a great little group. 